Hello and welcome back. Today I'm gonna do things unusually. However, I do things unusually all the time. So, this is what I'm gonna show you today. This. You see that? There I was doing things unusually, like I do, and this happened on my wall. I brought my plants in for the winter and when I set them up, I did not do a good job because one of my plants did this and I didn't realize it until it was already there too late. So I've scrubbed it and I, right now what's under me is manila paper used for drawing and that's why I said I'm doing things different. Um, so I have together some items that I'm going to use. I'm going to try to paint over this mess. And I've scrubbed it, so now I'm going to try to paint over it. Now, most people that are going to paint, they have all the paint and supplies. But I have everything I need to get the job done, and it's not painting supplies. Like I said, this is manila paper. I have paper to put down. All you need is paper to put down. If you have paper, Instead of buying new paper used for painting, just use what you have. Unless you have some reason as to why not. Uh, I mean, because unless you just want to spend your money, but um, yeah. So I got this. And also, this is the biggest paintbrush I own. So this is what I'm going to be using to paint it with. And I've rinsed it out, but there's a little purple in there, it looks like. But we'll make it through. So what we're going to start with, oh, and you know what? Let me show you the top, how the top is messed up as well. That, is, I'm going to try to paint that. So I have the two colors that I need to use. And I'm going to, I've never painted, just so you know. But this is my attempt to clean up my mess. So let's try it out. So this is a tool used to open up a paint can. And like I said, I've never painted, so let's see how it works out. Nor did I watch any tutorials on painting. I'm just going to use my remembrance of painting as a kindergartner, painting in school. So I think that's the last time I was allowed to paint in school. Jeez, I'm opening this all the way around. Okay, and I'm gonna try not to get paint on me. Yay! Some of it's dried at the top, but some in the bottom is still good. And I'm gonna use that to paint today. So let's see what we can do. It's a try. And a try is better than not a try. You know what? I'm sitting here stirring this with my paintbrush. It's probably not that big of a deal. Oh, it does need to be stirred. Look, it's a whole different color when you stir it. Good deal. And I have a stick to stir, but I've already started here. So I hope I don't drip this because it looks drippy. I'm going to... Hmm. There's rust on the can so I don't want to get rust on my wall what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it in this thingy this thingy right here I don't know what this is called that but it's this and it holds paint I'm just going to move this lid because I know it's already contained some rust. My son sells paint, so I know that it's expensive. I haven't went to go check out the price of paint. And I think I bought a container of paint for like 20 something dollars. But it was for outside, for my son painted for me. Let's 
start at the bottom is what I'm going to do. Nope, look at that, wrong color. And guess what? I'm painting with it. <laughs> you know what? I think this is the color for down here. Maybe I will use this for down here, yeah. Nope, that's not the color. Woo! <laughs> but it looks like, look at that, that looks like the same color. Maybe when it dries, it'll be more the same color. It looks like the same color of the background there. We'll see how it looks when it dries. It does look like it's gonna be lighter than it was. <sighs> but guess what? I bet this is gonna look nicer than it did. My son's gonna see this video and he's gonna comment to me because he knows about painting. Then I'll be like, I need the right color. <laughs> I I thought this was the right color. It's, it looks like the right color, and it said it was for this part, but it's looking different right now. Let's see how it looks when it dries. Well, I'll see how it looks when it dries. It might look good. Who knows? <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm covering up the stuff that the plant put on the wall. And usually I would just clean up the mess, but it just never came off. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. And I said, oh, I need a whole new paint job. I'm just kind of spreading it around so it won't be so thick in some spots. There, it's completely covered and I kind of like it, but now we're at the top here where we're gonna try to cover that. I like the way this paint spreads on. I really hope it turns into the color because it was supposed to be that color, but it really looks lighter to me. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> 